Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's the real Barber Joe. In this video, I want to cover a haircut that I do pretty frequently. Uh, this is actually my dad. I didn't put out this video two years ago when I recorded it, but let's get right into it. So for the first step, I'm going to be doing a one on the side, but I'm gonna start with the lever open um, just to create the shape first with my comb. As you can see, I am feeding the hair into the comb as I kind of flick out using this flick out motion. It kind of creates a very soft shape and it's gonna be easier for me to clip or over comb. I also forgot to mention that I'm gonna be only using one guard throughout this entire video. Um, this is possible with the Andis Cordless Master. It just has a very wide open lever system. Um, from open to close, it's kind of like a full length of an entire guard. So I can afford to use one guard um, as I complete this one uh, on the sides. But like I said, it, I'm starting off with a one and a half on the side just to create that softer shape. And then the next step I'm going to be doing is actually giving him a one and I'm gonna go right under the Peralta Ridge uh, as you can see, that's where I'm kind of leaning my comb to end and create the shape, the beginning of the shape uh, with my comb at the Parado Ridge. That is the guideline that I'm giving myself. As you can see in this video, I did kind of speed it up, but I am using the flick out motions and I'm using my comb to give it that nice soft finish around the Parado Ridge. Um, so you want to emphasize the soft motions as you use your comb, that way you're not leaving a very harsh line. So on this step right here, I'm going to lay in the one right under the one and a half. As you can see, I am still using very soft flick out motions. The reason why I emphasize flick out motion so much is because it gives it a softer finish and you don't have to really dig deep into the hair to take out any leftover uh, guidelines. It's also giving it a consistent base, um, consistent finish, and most, most importantly, um, a clean finish as well. And for this next step, I do grab the clipper over comb or I grab the comb to use clipper over comb. And this is the Oster flat top comb. You can buy it on Amazon for about 10 to 15 bucks, but I like this comb because it's very sturdy. It's not flimsy. It's almost acts like a complete guard. Um, and it's great for creating shape. And so as you see, I am going to start the edge up and I just start the edge up, try to give uh, my client around the nape area a perfect uh, natural edge up. I've said it in previous videos, um, noted, uh, noting that the edge up is important and it also brings out the flaws of the haircut. I also can uh, see what parts I missed and what parts I really need to go back in detail. So uh, you can do this step mid cut like I did or in the beginning of the cut just to set that boundary of what you need to shape up right away but I like to do it midway uh, before I start finalizing the detailing part. This just gives me a clear outline on what I need to leave and take off throughout the entire canvas. So for the next step, I'm going to be using my foil shaver just to give it that final cleanup, that tight finish that I created with my trimmer. And 
so right here i'm going to give my client the round shape he likes more of a round shape uh, i personally do like the round shape as well it's more of a natural look um, so i just kind of start as i'm giving like a square look and then i just kind of uh, round the square part of the nape area but here's the cut check it out let me know what you guys think in the comment section be back with another video soon until now peace